Hello everyone, how you doing? My name is Morris Jerka and I am here to show you a quick tip on how to do back testing on TradingView, either paid or free account, a free version. So to go back in time, like right now I'm on a one minute count, uh, one minute chart here, and I'm on Sunday right now. Right? If you look at the bottom here, it says February, 20th of February, 2022. Now, if I want to go back a couple of days, you can click and drag and drag and drag or shrink it up a bit, It'll keep going back, or you know what, let's tighten it up a bit here, tighten it up a bit more, right? And then just drag and drag and drag and drag until you find the day you want. The problem is it can take you a while, right? Depending, and then you have to get, bring it up and, and what I don't like about it is, is as you drag back, you can mentally see here, right? Oh God, look at this. It's going down. So if you pick spot and go, hey, I'm going to start back testing right here. Then you know, okay, you got a little bit of consolidation, goes up and get a little more volatility. And then bam, you can go in for the buy. And then you can go to a nice smooth sailing down, right? That's getting a bias opinion already before you even get into the market. So one thing you can do is here, if you, this little two arrows here, if you click that, it takes you right to the beginning. And I'm going to right click on here, reset price scale. And there you go, it takes you right back to, uh, so how does it, it brings the chart back up again. Because you know, the price moves up and down. So I'm going to click uh, auto fit off there so I can move up and down. Now, down here at the bottom, you click on this little calendar, you find the date you want, and in this case I want Friday, February 18th, and over here you have your different times. Why is that important? Because if you're always up in the morning and trading in the morning, or you want to because you're getting started, or if you, you're doing it after work in the evenings, the the pairs, the market will uh, fluctuate and move differently from in the morning and the evening. Right? Some might be more volatile in the morning. Some might not be as much in the evening. Some of the spreads might be with your broker might be higher in the evening. It depends on the day. Check your broker. So myself, I like to trade in the morning. So there we go. I come down. There's my 7 o'clock. I hit go to, bam, there it is, right there, that easy. Now, obviously I can see a little bit, I can see what's happening here. Back way over here, you can see I'm way at the bottom here, I'm about 8.30. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to expand it. And what's nice is, I should probably do it beforehand, have it expanded like this beforehand so I don't see all this previous movement. So I lost all that. What I mean by lost by that is I'm not going to start there now because I've seen it. For a free version, I'm going to start right here with the candle right next to the right edge. And the reason for that is, the reason I say reason, it's not the same reason. That's why I say it, is because you, you don't want to get that um, bias opinion. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll dig it here for a buy. Because you know it is going to go buy for a buy. But to the right here, let me just move this down. To the right here, you don't know. So what I do is I use my right arrow keys and I click it to the right. All right. Does it doesn't go up or does it go down? What does the chart tell me? Is there any entry signals? And then as you keep going, you can see how you don't have that bias opinion no more. Now, if you have a paid version, right up top here, you see it says replay. You click on that. And you see here where it's height of the blue. Whatever candle you click on, that's where it's going to start. Let me just move it out of the way a bit. 
So you see how the big candle dropping down? I'm going to click on this one right here. There we go. Now I cannot see the future. I can't tell. Well, so now what I can do is I can hit play. And it will keep playing according to the speed I have here. The speed here adjusts how fast you want each candle to form. So for example, if I'm watching the market and I want to see exactly where my entry point is, does it shoot straight down? Does it pull back a bit to get a better entry and then continue with the direction I want? So you can hit play or this one here is just one candle forward. There we go. See, so just shot right down and back up just a bit. So now I can say, okay, my entry is probably right about here there because it shot down so quickly. If you hit play, let me move this bar out of the way. Give us it, it takes a couple seconds for it to, to get going. And you can see now, I'll move it up. Now it's playing. And what I like about the slowest speed is you can again you can see how the candle is forming. Right, let's see the next one here. There we go. See, it dropped and then came back up. Here, so let's say you want you want to test to see. Okay, I got my um, okay, uh, this range here. Whatever. Do you think it's going to come back up to this point here, or is it come down to this point? So rather than waiting forever, because you're back testing, and say, okay, at two o'clock in, in the morning. The price was here. Is it come back to it again? All right. So what we can do is adjust it to warp speed. And there you go. Oh, and it's gone out of the out of the earth there, out of the map. So that is some cool tricks tricks you can do there. That is it for back testing. And when you're done, you can hit X here, and it'll take you right back to the current time. So that's it. My name is Morris. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave your comments, concerns, or questions in the chat there. I'll be happy to answer you. Until then, you have yourself an awesome day.